Next two game, guys, uh, we've had plenty of Mark and, uh, and Nine Fingers. So for the next two game, it will be just you, Zelgius. Uh, you, you'll be given the honor. Mark and uh, Nine Fingers can take a little break, um, get some drinks, get some food, and then uh, we'll have the pleasure of uh, listening to your beautiful voice, hyping us. Absolutely. Most likely Pond Guard, but I hope you also get to enjoy the We Are Clans uh, players. Oh, dude. I'd be looking at these teams right now. You got Kicker, Meyer, Wero, Booming, Kagan, uh, Flynn. I mean, I like the fact that they all have their RP names. I'm a big RPer myself, bro. I have, I have a whole stack on Indivinity called RP Stack. and uh, So it's very similar, man. It's very similar. And you got King Smexy. Um, do you have the right lobby up, by the way? Uh, uh, make sure you have the right, th right thing on the stream right now for the lobby. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, you got, anymore. I mean, there's some really good players here for the Clowns team. And of course, you've got uh, Daddy Maximus over there for PG, along with Mr. Billy D, who's probably wearing his pizza outfit as we speak right now. Then a dealer for life, of course, too nice, you know, C4. C4, who's also a uh, bigger simp than I am. It's, it's unbelievable, as a matter of fact. Queen Reb, Sludge Main, Pine, Takedown, SKW, Gilcho, Sig, Watson, Akumo, and of course, Asim Tree, who was actually my secretary for some time until he quit and uh, decided to be tied for his secretary instead. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, and then you got Siphonaris and Falconated Gunners band on the on La, La Grand Gluar here. I think it's a really good band. Um, those specialty units can really make a big game-changing difference here and really just get things done. Um, so it's, I think that was wise bands, you know, by both those teams. And uh, we'll have to see how it goes down. It's going to be a juicy fight, no doubt about it. I'm actually very uh, excited for them. We'll have to see if all that training paid off, you know? Yep, exactly right. So this is the first game of the final match. This is going to decide the season's winner for CB Rifles League. So yes, it's all yours. Absolutely, man. Appreciate that. All right, so we're on loading screen right now. Let's get on in there and see what it's all about. Log Grand we are fun fact. I've never played on this map in my life, but it uh, it should be very interesting to watch. I mean, based off these unit comps right here, you got actually, holy shit, clowns are bringing Sildars. They're bringing the salads, ladies and gentlemen. Salads are confirmed in the fight. They are, they were just recently updated. They have to see if they perform. I'm not really impressed with salads myself, but I'm um, not really a salad eater too. I mean, as you can tell, I'm a big guy, um, but it's what it is. You got, of course, Iron Reapers, ISGs, uh, Halberdier Sergeants in the fight there for clowns as well. Well, unit comps are pretty infantry based, which is expected. Some Senji gunners mixed in as well. Actually, Wero has a green unit as a fill, of course, part of the fill. I mean, I would bring a fill unit too, but obviously save that for the end. Kuma with his uh, tier six unit of uh, Pike Militia. Um, some interesting unit comps. Actually, Alchemist in the fight as well. A lot of ball boys. A lot of ball boys. A lot of people have faith in those ball boys, and the, the absence of Siphonari's ball boys are definitely game changing. So, uh, We'll have to see it. Chevalier is also being brought into the fight. So you see some new specialty units. Uh, both teams, I'm sure, have tested them many times. So we'll have to see how it goes down. Should be a nice fight to watch. Good luck to both teams. Good luck to both teams. Mm. So the blue side is the attacking side, correct, uh, CB? Just to clarify. Oh, okay, excellent. Um... Yeah, so it should be uh, pretty juicy. So we got Clowns taking the attack to begin with here with PG on the hard D. Um, let's see what Maximus has planned for us, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what the, the PG team has planned for us on this D. Let's see what the Clowns team has planned for us on attack. Um, you got the old abandoned church out there. I mean, honestly, this was a cool-looking map. I, I really do think this was a pretty dope map. Unfortunately, it's not very liked, but I do think it's a dope map. Um, let's take a quick look, though. So as we zoom out real quick, going right on into it, let's see where both times start setting up. Oh, yeah. So it's almost like a mini arc goalie, if you really think about it, with this first initial push on A here. Uh, a couple of defenders here, not really. Looks like they're probably going to hold off here and just play it slow and smart here. Dealer for Life and Pine going for the immediate, the immediate A hold with Kicker MXU leading the charge down on the tab left side here, followed up by Flynn and all the other boys over here getting ready for that tab left ladder staircase, which is what we saw in the previous fight. Um, going down actually the middle alleyway, not going up the staircase. Two nice guilty on Akuma waiting heavily on the central staircase on the second floor. First floor completely un unavailable, completely uncontested. SKW and Watson watching the bridge side, uh, waiting for that push. And it does look like they're going to make a slight push there with Kicker and my eye, but nothing too substantial. Um, this little castle is definitely going to be the main play here. They're looking for that. They're looking for that staircase. They're looking to make a play inside the city itself as well. Uh, Pie and Gilcho and all those other boys hanging out inside, just hanging out, eating some glue. You know how it is. Um, and then if we go down to the bottom here, I um, see Java Mule and the boys setting up with some Madao's infantry. Just getting out of any, tr any, uh, any, uh, any, so they can't get shot. Whatever. They're looking for this little internal staircase that's actually inside here. Um, you see Kicker MXU leading the charge with some help sergeants, Pie and Aspen Tree, and who else is here? Sig looking to hold down this little highway. Some very tight corridors down here inside this building. Hard to see on stream, but uh, it is what it is. Um, 
it does look like they're going to get A for free, of course, which is expected. I wouldn't want to be on A either. I mean, it's a troubleable spot. You, I mean, you're better off holding the, this, this mini castle. This is definitely going to be uh, the alpha hold right here on this little central alleyway point. And, of course, you have the bridge to the tab right side, which is being lightly probed right now by... Um, by the Clowns Alliance. It looks like four heroes actually making push. Five heroes actually looks like they're doing a full rotation here to this tab right side. They are going to take this tab right side for free. Um, it does, does not look like Divinity... I mean, it does not look like uh, uh, PG is defending this whatsoever. Um, they are going to give this tab right side completely up to uh, the We Are Clowns team here. Uh, they're not looking to hold that. Instead, they're completely prioritizing B-side hold, realizing that they're pretty much at a trap distance unless they back up too far. Um, they're looking for a mini castle hold plus B hold here. Um, they're totally ignoring this tab right side. They're actually letting themselves get encircled here by clowns. This is a good play by clowns, I think, making sure that they're not pushing one down one alleyway. They will not have more opportunities of attack here, uh, giving themselves about three different routes into B itself on this tab left staircase inside the castle and, of course, on the big drag behind. Obviously, this big drag behind is probably their best play uh, simply because it's troubleable for them, which means if they get pushed, if, 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 um, if, PG decides to push out, they will be trapped. But unfortunately, the, the, fortunately for Clowns, it looks like PG's playing very tightly to the castle. Um, very nicely set up here with four Brachio guns and everything ready to shoot. ISG's mixed in as well for unit support as well. Uh, neither team is really fully engaged here at this point. Is this CBL map or is this regular? This is CBL. I see, I see. So this is CBL attack, guys, which means everyone everyone only has three lives. Actually going for a trevor on this right now. If that lands, that's not a good sign for PG. It does look like it gets partially partially in. No, it doesn't. It actually, it looks like the IHGs don't get touched. Very lucky there for PG. Um, this little set of cartons actually blocked them off. Very well calculated, PG, if they actually calculated that. Um, but that trap does not hit. PG does back up slightly, realizing that it is slightly trevorable there. Um, and it can be anteed. But uh, it does look like, of course, play, uh, Clowns are going to take this main drag. They're not literally looking for flanks on the tab right staircase or, or mini castle whatsoever. They are looking for take this main drag, taking that strat, which is expected. Um, looking for treb uh, triple opportunities for them. Uh, the ISG is kind of frontlining for PG right now. It's a very tough defensive scenario for them here. They really kind of gave themselves a sandwiching thing here. We'll have to see how it plays out here for uh, the PG team. I see two reds currently by A still. I'm going to go over there real quick and just double check that and see what the hell is going on. That, that's a glitch, though. I guess that was on the that's last map as well. Copy that. Understood. Thank you so much for clarifying. Um, does look like Ripple Brave and Sig are going to take this frontline approach here. It does look like they're going to get some cheeky points on B here for for, uh, for the Clowns Alliance. Clowns are really playing smart here, using their playing of using their own ISGs to stop any range from shooting double ISGs. As a matter of fact, Clowns are really playing nicely here. Maximus is going to have to do some big brain strats here to hold it down. The Sentry Gunners are fine, but they don't have a supply point, so they will have to get ammo eventually. Which means Clowns can have time here. They have 12 minutes to fuck around here, so they're going to take their time, in my opinion. They're just using those traps. They're really using those traps here. I've only seen four traps go off. This is probably the fifth trap I'm seeing going off around these ISGs. And of course, only one set of ISGs right now out for PG. So this one set of ISGs is really kind of their only shield unit that they have working for PG. While Clowns have two sets of ISGs, two sets of ISGs, gray hairs. A really good unit comes. Gunners going off. Reapers on the back line ready to charge along with the cinema dows. Really good unit comes. You see, you can see the ball boys going off. This is just a juicy fight, guys. This is what you call a heavyweight fight. Super sweaty. Neither team really engaging just yet. We might see an engagement right here, though. It does look like PG has got enough of their fucking bullshit and is getting involved in the fight. It does look like the frontline ISGs will get very close and dangerous. They are going to back up slightly here. Um, it looked like they were going to push and then they didn't. Maybe they're trying to bait him out with the ISGs. They do get baited slightly. Clowns does see an opportunity to take out some of those ISGs. It does look like those Madows are going to engage as well, just slightly. They do back up there, getting gunned down before they can get to get close. Both teams getting bloodly debated there. Nothing they can do. Uh, neither team's still making a push here. Um, really looking tight right now. It's really looking tight. Those traps are going off, though. They are slamming PG with these traps. Those traps are definitely doing some substantial damage uh, to PG, with PG having 62 troops dead and 8 troops only dead for Clown Allies here. So they are getting a handful of kills here and there. Just some cheeky kills. I mean, this initial push, though, is going to be very game-changing on B. Both teams look like are treating this point like it's home point right now. Um, really, neither team really advancing. I mean, I mean, every time they get use, an opportunity to use a trap, they're using it. I have to say, Clowns are definitely looking like a well-oiled machine right now against PG. That trap is decisively landing on PG as well, really doing some substantial damage about 100 units down currently for pg to only eight for clown allies clown allies is now making a pressure on the point slowly and eventually advancing on the tab right on the tab right side of this point and also on the central point with both sets of isgs with gray hairs following up and supporting they do have reapers looking to go in as soon as going as soon as, going, as, soon as possible as well but is cycling out with reapers they have really good cycles ball boys in the back going off for clown allies as well the range is still going off massively for pg pg unfortunately does have a set of four brackets right into the enemy right now that could be free for the brackets for clown allies it does look like they will all die to clown allies Treating. That's what happens when you go for the for the sandwich play here, and it does look 
look like that. Oh, and a set of cab coming for Blade with Lines. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen. It is not looking good at all for PG right now. PG is definitely in a tough scenario. That trip actually hits Clown of Lies. They are so excited to kill all this range that they push right through their trip and they start slamming PG. PG is getting decisively killed here. Um, nothing they can do. Only 115 units down on the field right now for Crown of Lies and 375 dead for PG. PG is definitely struggling here. Um, they might have that commitment to B might have been not the play. Um, it's not looking good here, PG. Akumo, one of the last few alive. It does like PG is almost completely wiped with units here. Um, so SKW and a handful of other heroes are still alive trying to fight it out. But for the most part, it does like Clown of Lies will get the wipe here. C4 takedown, rotating back. Watson rotating back. All realizing they only have so many lives. Lives are very limited indeed right now. Um, Really nice play here by uh, Clown Elias. They definitely came to play, ladies and gentlemen. I definitely underestimated them myself. Um, they are definitely looking beefy. They've definitely been practicing. They are definitely a first-place contender team as well as PG. Uh, we're looking at some serious heavyweight fights for the for, for the following for the following fights, guys. This is that was a really nice push there by Clown Elias. Let's see if PG can come back from that. Now I'm gonna have a sip of beer. Wow, what a play, man! What a play. It looks like Cloud Lies is going to take the tab right mid approach here with a couple guys on tab left side. It does look like PG is hugging the complete opposite side, watching their home point, of course, and the supply. The supply point is really just not optimal here, guys, for PG whatsoever. This is definitely attacker favorite at this point in time, if I do say so myself. Um, Cloud Lies, which did not have the attacker oriented favor, took that tab right side decisively and made one for the main drag push, which was definitely the play. Um, and wow, I mean, guys, plus one in the chat right now. I know it's a five minutes, but plus one in the chat. Those traps were actually on point. Whoever is calling right now for Clown Lies did, a, I mean, for 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 We Are Clowns did an uh, uh, an excellent job, an a, a crazy job. We Are Clowns. I'm sorry, I've been saying Clown Lies the entire time because I'm baked. But uh, We Are Clowns is doing an excellent job with these traps, man. I mean, really, just something, dude. Really, just something. Let's we'll see how it goes, man. It does look like PG is heavily engaging on the ground at this point in time. Um, it does look like uh, the clowns are going to take a central approach here. Look for that play. Uh, PG hiding in this little nook right here. White really not liking that trebuchet action. Only five trebuchets available right now for the clowns. They did use a lot for that B push. We'll have to see if it's enough here for uh, PG. We'll have to see if it's enough. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, right now, Unicomps are absolutely delicious, dude. I mean, Clown's got some really got Unicomps out right now, and so does PG. I mean, Palace Guards, you got Monastics, Medows, Porta Brock, he's got everything on the field right now. I mean, sometimes you just need to take a, a minute here and just, just look, at, look at this glorious push. Like, guys, if you're if you're an endgame player, this, this is a wet dream for you. Like, this is why people sign for this tournament for fights like this, guys. It's just really something, man. Uh, but Dow's getting ready to brace and hold on home point while the PGs make a flanking play. PGs making a really nice play here, looking for that opportunity to flank. Let's see if they take it. SKW making a huge big brain play. SKW does need to be decisive here. Gilcho's getting, his four Brockers are literally getting slammed right now. He has no shields to protect them. He is going to have to adjust. Trep coming in on, on the home point as well, looking for the Medals to kill them off as well. Pine, Sledge Main, C4, and Deal for Life looking to engage Clowns here, but the shields and ISGs and guns are not going to be a good scenario here for PG. SKW on the flank, but he's way too early on the flank. PG is not engaging the front line, so Clowns are able to respond to that flanky play by SKW and Andy instantly with Claymores and all kinds of other heroes. It is not looking good right now for PG. I'm going to be absolutely honest. I do love PG, but it ain't looking good for them whatsoever here. Um, Kumo Maximus are holding double medal and home point, looking to make a play here. Kicker MXU, and they can take in the charge here. This guy, Kicker MXU, has been the frontline player for uh, Clowns the entire time. I wonder if he's the shot caller. Um, Akumo and Maximus, uh, actually, Gilcho's four Brockies retreat. That's the second four to four Brockies for PG, fully retreating. Uh, here, a nice little trap there by Clowns. It's going to be danger close here. Uh, honestly, they are really on point with their traps. Like, guys, I can't tell you how important traps are in a non arty fight. And look at this trap coming in right now. Right on top of PG, slams Dealer for life, kills Maximus with the trap. Uh, I mean, that is just what that's what you call an end game trap, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I want to see my siege battles instead of that other bullshit. That, you know, it, it really was something. Uh, C4, too nice here, trying to hold the line. It, it, clowns are really just digging in deep here. Um, that's currently, at this point in time, five dead for PG, two dead for Clowns. Clowns definitely have the upper hand here decisively. Unit counts in the field are also pretty decisive. 750 dead, 780 dead for PG, and only 340 dead for Clowns. Clowns are really decisively taking this. It's a matter of time at this point based on unit count alone. Um, multiple heroes out for the counts as well for PG completely. Um, this is probably GG in the next couple seconds here, as we're probably going to witness. At Pine SKW and Watson, last couple alive right now for PG, trying to hold it down. But Clowns have ISGs decisively pushing slowly with guns backing them up. Really interesting strat here by, by the Clowns. 
team. I've never seen an ISG uh, gun support like that. It, it's really just kind of clockwork. I mean, this is what a well-oiled machine looks like, guys. And um, as we see here, this is really something. Uh, PG's definitely going to need to change up their strats and figure out um, what they're going to do next in the next round because that was a pretty decisive fight here for uh, the Clowns team here. Takedown is also the last one alive. Uh, a sledge man also fighting on point. Well, I mean, I'd be, I, I would like to say there's hope for PG at this point, but it's just with the, with the spawn currently and the uh, supply point, it's looking really challenging. Um, clowns really have this bad boy locked down. We're, I mean, there's obviously hope still if, the one, if one of the PG guys can make a big play, but uh, it's going to be very challenging for them, ladies and gentlemen. Very challenging indeed. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, Akumo on point right now with Max is looking for a body block. They do have units charging in. Mr. Billy D and C4 responding as well. You do see some short swords coming in, trying to delay the point, but I think it's inevitable at this point. We'll have to see. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer or the man of this regard, but I'm just looking at the unit, the unit comps right now. And they're all starting to pull out their, like, you know, their BS units. The, the true units are really dead here. Um, it's probably game here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is. That's game right there. That's game one. And it does go to the We Are Clowns team. Uh, PG does take a loss. On this. One of PG's first losses of this tournament. They've only lost like once or twice this tournament. Other than that, they've been pretty much undefeated. Uh, so this is definitely a big loss for PG on this first attack. We'll see if they can bounce back from this. Like I said, we're going to be looking at a very, very juicy fight uh, for the next four rounds as well. Um, I mean, let's look at the post-battle analysis, man. That was crazy, dude. That was fucking crazy. I mean, Mark, what are you thinking? Mark, are you here? Yeah, yeah I'm here. What are you thinking, that man? The, I mean, that was juicy, bro. That was very interesting, to be fair. Um, the, the unit difference at the end there as well, there was about 200 left when it was the, the half we capped yeah. on the home point. It's just a massive difference in terms of uh, We Are Clowns definitely worked a very good strategy in there. I don't know if it was Pongar just got theirself uh, on B for a bit too long or the Trebs were just phenomenal because they were left with five Trebs, like he says, on the worst home is it, but the last matches we watched for play Melee's, there was only one push for because he didn't try and use so many just for b so they managed to hold on to five for the home point and obviously it's a lot more open on home um if you can get them off like they did it definitely changes the, the whole game but yeah that was there that was that was a crazy play man crazy yeah. Welcome back, uh, guys. You're back on the screen as well. That was amazing casting yourself. Yes, well done. Thanks you for that already. That was non-stop fighting as well. Uh, by the way, it's We Are Clowns. The it's not like it's, it's a clown fiesta, but it's, it's clown. Uh, we are clowns. Not claiming clown alias or something. But it's... Yeah, I'm saying, I was saying clown alias a couple times now. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I, started, I, started, I started merging people, and I, I, it's on me. It's on me. Yeah, that's all right. We, we'll, we are clowns. We, I, I apologize for that. Yeah, they they came to play though. They were absolutely insane there and really just got it done. Um, that B side hold by PG just wasn't enough. The 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 weird clowns were really just trebbing those. Mm. The, the, those trebs were something else, dude. I mean, I've never I've seen some well oiled machines like well oiled teams and do some really crazy stuff, but no cap, that was uh, that was really 